we we at NOAA have been studying lionfish uh, since early 2000 uh, when, we, when lionfish was first seen off the coast of North Carolina and uh, it's fairly unique in terms of a species because it is a marine reef fish and uh, it's one of the few um, it's one of the few cases in the world in which a, a fish has been introduced into the marine environment and it is its population is expanding uh, really fast um, in a to give you an idea we can go out and on a collecting trip and in one day um, in four dives the divers will bring back 40 lionfish and uh, that this is uh, we are really learning a lot of new information about uh, the rate at which invasive species can grow in a new environment, um, particularly in the marine environment. Invasive species have been studied a, a long time um, in the freshwater environment and aquatic ecosystems like rivers and lakes. Um, this is this is new to us, and and uh, the National Ocean Service has a has an has a role in studying invasive species as a stressor on our on our ecosystem, the marine ecosystem. We look at the map of the world and all the oceans are connected, but that doesn't mean that everything that lives in an area is is able to move to all those different places. And I think I think that's part of what you're talking about and part of the problem. Yeah, yeah that's right. So this is a this is a uh, Indo-Pacific reef fish, which means that its native habitat is in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Um, it doesn't belong along the, co the east coast of the United States. And one, some of the things that we're looking at and are concerned about is what impacts that this new species will have in our marine, in our marine reef fish communities. North Carolina is a very productive reef fish area. We have a lot of, uh, we have very viable commercial reef fisheries and we're concerned about those reef fisheries and, uh, and are currently looking at the impacts that lionfish may play in those communities. Um, when thinking about invasive species, uh, it is all grounded in ecology and how exactly this new species is going to fit in the new environment and what impacts it may have uh, in the new environment. Um, basically, uh, lionfish is a very uh, popular aquarium species, uh, one of the most heavily imported uh, species, ornamental uh, species. Um, it's likely that this species, lionfish, came out of the aquarium trade, whether it was dumped from a private aquaria or a commercial aquaria. Uh, is uncertain. There's there's some uh, there's some evidence that it may have come uh, from commercial aquaria, but it's hard to track it exactly. So that so we'll probably never know the exact source of the lionfish introduction, but it's here now, and we're going to and we have to deal with it. Um, when thinking about that ecology, uh, we're thinking about basic principles like reproduction, um, interactions with other species, uh, genetics aging growth, uh, stomach, con uh, stomach contents, or feeding ecology, and trophic ecology, and those are all important things to figure out to find out where they're going to fit in this uh, reef ecosystem. Uh, one of the things that we're working on now, we're very interested in learning what will eat lionfish and what might be a potential predator on lionfish. And this is important to us because predation or natural mortality in ecology is a, is a very important uh, part of keeping the balance of, uh, of, reef, of communities. And if you look on this little video that is there going now, you'll see that in this tank we have black sea bass. Black sea bass is a common reef fish. It's a very voracious reef fish. If you go out on one of the head boats, what you'll, one of the things that you may catch is a, is a black sea bass. They're a very voracious feeder. And we dumped it, we placed the one lionfish in this tank with black sea bass. Now this lionfish is a very small lionfish. It's a juvenile. But notice this behavior. It is basically just laying down on the bottom, the, the black sea bass are going up to it. They're just interacting with it. They're very curious. They're very hungry because they're, that was part of this trial was putting in a starving black sea bass and see if he can eat it under star, starvation conditions. But look, the lionfish is basically swimming up to the mouth of the black sea bass and the black sea bass is, is uh, completely backing up. In any normal situation, the black sea bass would have already eaten this lionfish and, and they, would have, uh, they would have just been lunch. But in this case, the lionfish is not scared at all. It's not seeking shelter in the tank. So that gives us some early evidence that, hey, lionfish, juvenile lionfish, may not be eaten by black sea bass in the wild. Now, this is just a laboratory trial. So we still need to do a lot more replicates and a lot more work to confirm this. And so we're thinking about other species. 
Immediately after that trial where I put the lionfish in, just to give you an idea of the contrast, I placed in a juvenile pinfish. And um, as you can see, I'm here, I'm dumping in the pinfish. Now recall, I've just taken out the lionfish. Look, look what happens. The black sea bass run around the tank and eat the pinfish immediately. So they were hungry and they wanted it, but they weren't willing to, 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 uh, to attack it. Um, lionfish are venomous, so they have that venom defense system that may give it an advantage uh, in, in its new habitat and may partly explain why they are, their population is growing so fast. Now, we're going to be bringing in a lot of other species in, out, of the, uh, out of the wild and bring them into the lab and testing that question of what will eat lionfish. Uh, lionfish are venomous. If you get stung by a lionfish, it's going to hurt. Um, we've been out interacting in the lab and um, it's very uh, common that people can get stung with lionfish, especially in their home aquaria, playing with the fish, uh, cleaning the tank. There's been a lot of people been stung by that. Um, the good news is you won't, you're not going to die unless you have other medical complications with that. It's sort of like getting stung by a wasp or a bee. There is a venom and it, it will swell up a finger. Um, but most of the time the swelling goes down and you're fine. Those um, spines that are sticking up on the dorsal uh, side of the fish um, are the venomous parts of the fish. Those are the spines, those things that you see completely uh, erect there. The, uh, the fins, let me see if my finger, yeah, these, this area, <laughs> he doesn't easy boy, <laughs> this, this area here, which is the, uh, which is the rays, they are not venomous, but what you see here uh, with the spines near the top of the fish, uh, or the dorsal side of the fish, those are the venomous spines, and the venom gland is located along that spine. Um, you can see the, very, the points are very sharp, um, and they have this skin sheath which covers the spine, and then when you get stung, that spine goes in, in the skin, or if another fish is getting envenomated, uh, they uh, will actually go into the tissue and expose the tissue to that venom gland. And um, in this video, uh, you'll see the lionfish is collected with, uh, with nets on the bottom, and, and uh, then it's sent to the surface. And um, right now, uh, if you're a diver, and, or you are going to be a diver in the future, as you go out and dive along the reefs uh, off the coast, you may encounter a lionfish. You may, you'll likely see a lionfish in, at some of these sites. Um, over the last couple of years, the amount of, uh, the number of hook and line captures has been increasing. I believe last year there were 15 lionfish which were landed on head boats. And then these are charter or uh, commercial boats that you pay by the head to go out and fish for a day. And they go out to reef sites off North Carolina and, and there are head boats um, further south as well. Uh, that, and these head boats brought in 15 lionfish last year. So, um, and we've already seen a number uh, caught this year already as well. So we're likely to exceed that. Uh, there was a lionfish caught at the Cape Lookout Rock Jetty uh, recently uh, by a trout fisherman. Uh, lionfish uh, will come inshore, uh, further inshore in the summer months. There's no reason to think they won't. Uh, it gets sort of cool in the estuary uh, and near shore environments in the winter, so it's likely that they, they can overwinter because of, if they'll die because the water's so cold. Remember, they are a tropical reef fish. Mm -hmm. um, but those are some, some ways that you might interact is, is actually catching a lionfish. If you catch one, it's, it's very important you don't get stung. So it's, it's a new area and we're learning a lot. We're, um, we're sort of uh, behind the eight ball on this one because they're really growing fast. Um, and so we, we look forward to uh, continuing this work.